All right, we've got our battery maintainer on at 13.5 volts. We're going to open up TechStream and select Connect to Vehicle in the top left-hand side. It's going to communicate with our device and into the vehicle. Once it does that, it will automatically populate the year make model. You see that there's an option box. There are a few options to select with and without. This is the key to our specific Toyota, which is not a smart key. This is a smart key, which has proximity ability. Now we'll select our option and click next. It's going to communicate with the vehicle once again and pull up our main screen. That screen is going to give us our option to select our health check, which I always start with. And we're going to give this option up here for entire system health check. That's going to communicate with the server and do a full system scan. Brings up all of our DTCs and if there's a calibration update available. I normally do not recommend doing a calibration update on Toyotas unless uh, it's TSB driven, but this one's at the request of a shop. So we'll select the hyperlink that says yes for update next to the calibration. Takes us to Toyota's TIS website. You'll input your username and password or create an account if you do not have one. Brings up the terms of use box. You'll select accept after you've read that. Gives you a bit of information up here in the top box as in the current calibration that's listed. But if we scroll down, we can see that it gives us a list of current ECU calibrations, the new ECU calibration for that, some of the year make models that it resolves, the market which that vehicle was designed for, and uh, there in the center there is a hyperlink for the TSB. So if we select that hyperlink and open it, it brings up the actual technical service bulletin from Toyota. Notice that it gives us a bit of information about what the TSB addresses, and uh, some of the information on the current and old part numbers of the ECU models and parts required for this particular TSB that has a block heater for this vehicle because it's a, uh, a northern market vehicle. We noticed that right here is our 2012 Corolla with the automatic transmission. There is the current calibration and the new calibrations to the right, and that is selectable. So if you select that calibration number, it will download the uh, calibration file to your computer. Now. If you open that calibration file from its location, it should automatically bring up the calibration update wizard, which is the software that's used to actually perform the calibration. So we will select next and we'll select our pass through device, which we're using. Gives you some generic information there every single time. So we'll select next. That's going to communicate with the vehicle again. This starts the actual flash procedure. So now we're in. So it's giving us a bit of information on the two current calibration uh, sectors within this vehicle, some year make model information, and the ability to select the next whenever we're ready. See here it gives the information, the year, the engine type, and name. So we'll select next. It says for this particular flash, we're going to start with the ignition off. So we'll click next with the ignition off. Then it's going to instruct us to turn the ignition on, and it also gives you a little voltage meter there. You want to make sure it's mostly stable. It is going to bounce around a little bit considering the key is on, but also make sure all the loads are off just like normal. So we'll select next with the key on, and it's going to complete its process and actually go through the flash now. I'll speed this process up as well. Now it's going to have you Turn the ignition off as it's supposedly successful. Then it's going to cycle the key back on. That was simply just a restart of the computer's PCM for it to validate that the calibration was updated correctly. It's going to recommunicate with the vehicle and check that. And it shows you your little print screen that's available there for uh, reprogramming. So it shows the current and after calibration. You can print this for your customer. We'll select finish. We'll close that out and we'll go back to text stream here. We're going to reselect our system select tab at the top, redo our health check, 
Again, selecting all and select next. That's going to go through the same process again. Shows all of our codes in the system again. So we're going to go ahead and clear all the codes. We notice that the calibration no longer says it has an update. So we'll select the eraser on the DTC icon down there. Gives us instructions on this one that the vehicle has to be started. So make sure you read the instructions there. They are important. It's going to go ahead and clear all the codes for us. It's going to rerun the health check for a third time to ensure that it was done properly. And it shows everything is completed. So that's the successful portion of it. I go ahead and print this for the customer to show that it no longer has a calibration update and it uh, no longer has any codes left in the system. That's good insurance for yourself. So remember, like, subscribe, hit the bell, otherwise you won't get notifications when I make new videos. We'll see you next time.